everyone and welcome to the Quillen Physicians webinar on logging into Allscripts. Logging into Allscripts is a two-step process as we have to log into the server first and then into Allscripts application. To log in, click on the Internet Explorer icon on your desktop to pull up the Internet. Once there, click in the browser window and delete the information that is listed. If you click just once in the window, it should highlight all of the text automatically and then you can just hit the delete key to get rid of it. Type the word Club Web into the browser and hit enter. There's no need to type the HTTP or the WWW first, just the word Club Web. Now once you've pulled up Club Web, you will see a login screen for Quillen ETSU Physicians. And just a quick note here, the IT department is currently working on switching all of the computers in the system to the QETSU domain. Once this happens in your office, there will be a Quillen desktop icon on your desktop which will take you directly to the Citrix login screen. This will eliminate the need to type Club Web into your browser. For now though, we suggest that you make this page a favorite in Internet Explorer so that you can pull the screen up quickly each time. To do this, simply click on the Favorites link on the left hand side of the screen and then click Add to Favorites button here. You can rename the link if you like and then just click Add. So once this is done, go ahead and type in your username and password for Citrix. Please note that the ID and passwords are case sensitive, so make sure your caps lock is off before entering these items. Once you've entered your ID and password, hit the Enter key. You will be taken to the screen with the Quillen desktop icon. Click just one time on this icon. Please note that clicking twice on this may open up multiple sessions, which could slow your system down. So try and get in the habit of just clicking once on this icon. Here you'll be taken to a screen that has two Allscripts icons on it. One is for the live environment and one is for the test environment. This will change once we go live, but for right now we want you to click on the Test Allscripts EHR icon, which is the last one on the screen and this will pull up your Allscripts login and password screen. Go ahead and type in your login ID and your password and you'll notice here that you have two different options for logging in. Let's go over the last session option first. Clicking on last session will pull in the information that was on the screen the last time someone logged into that specific computer. The last session button is not tied to your particular username but rather it's tied to the workstation. So, for example, if you're working on a patient and you've logged off and the doctor comes into the room and logs onto the same computer, they could click on the last session button and be pulled right back into that patient's chart where you left off. This will be handy for those of you who have workflows where you and the physician are sharing the same computer. Now, if you want to open a new session, you can either click the new session button here or just hit enter. Now, just a quick note about passwords. Currently, we have set everyone's username and password to match a standard format for both the Citrix password and the Allscripts. We ask that you not change this for the time being, as it helps us help you if we don't have to look up your password every time you need assistance. Once you go live, of course, you will be prompted to change your password, and we won't be able to see that password once you've changed it, so make sure you choose something that you can remember. And that's it for logging in. Now, we want to talk about locking your computer here so that when you step away from the computer or go to lunch you don't have to log all the way out of the system you can just lock your computer. Now up here in the upper right hand corner on your toolbar you'll see a little uh, word lock with a little icon next to it. And to lock your computer all you have to do is click on that icon and you can see here you get a box that says session locked. To log back in all you have to do is type in your password and then hit resume. And that takes you right back into the screen where you were. Now if you had logged, if you had locked your computer and stepped away and someone else came onto the same computer and wanted to log in, they would just hit exit and hitting exit will take them back to the Allscripts login screen so that they could log in themselves. Basically this is just kind of a time-saving method so that you don't have to log all the way out of both uh, Allscripts and Citrix when you step away from your machine. Now if you lock your session on one computer and want to open it up again on another computer, you can also do that. 
On the second computer, once you have logged into Citrix, you will see the locked session box. And once you've typed in your password and logged back into all scripts, your last session opens up automatically. Now we want to go over logging out, as there are specific steps which you need to follow for logging all the way out of the system. At the end of the day, this is the, the choice you're going to, to use. Right next to the lock icon on the toolbar, there's another icon for log off. You're just going to click that. And then you get another box that asks you if you're sure, and you said yes, okay. And down here, this takes you back to the All Scripts screen. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a golf club themed thing here on the Start menu. And you're just going to click on that, and then click Log Off. And again, it asks you if you're sure. You say Log Off. And essentially what you've done here is you've logged out of All Scripts and Citrix. And this takes you all the way out of the system. And like we said, that's the option that you'll want to use at the end of the day when you, when you leave and you're shutting down. And that's pretty much it for logging in and logging out. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us. Thanks so much.